Hippocrates pointed out very clearly and concisely back, find me a way to create fever. Mm -hmm. Just find me a way to create fever, and I will cure any disease, period. You know, I think uh, the first part that I'd like to say is thank you for coming to our show. Uh, Phil Wilson, I I get to interview lots of people in the in the career that I'm in, but also since I've, well, my, my children would call me YouTube famous. Uh, but, so since the YouTube channel has really taken off, I've been lucky enough to, to been able to interview people who are really trying to help patients reverse medical problems. And uh, although not other brands say that word, that's really what our mission has been is what are the kinds of things that you can do that get rid of prescriptions instead of add them. And when I first got introduced to you, um, uh, well, I was looking into the answer for that, a, that my husband had. Um, we had been looking at saunas and you can't help but um, be swept away by the volume of evidence that is behind a the Finnish steam sauna and and how much uh, when they look at that culture of of Finland uh, and and the longevity associated with that steam sauna, uh, well, how how beneficial it is. When uh, we moved to Florida, we we went from a life where we actually had a steam sauna in our house and now we didn't. So we are trying to find a solution of how can we substitute what we had before. And it really pushed me into looking into the the really craze of people using saunas that have the word sauna, but I'm not sure it's really giving them anything close to the health benefits that we were, well, that I was used to being confident in. Like, oh my goodness, this the studies on a fin, Finland sauna, you can hardly find more data on. Um, and then to transfer that information in a place where, how do I recommend this for my husband? Uh, I'll tell you what I, I used before I found your sauna was I was trying to recreate a steam sauna and I we were living in Florida. We were at a rental property because housing's uh, housing market was terrible, terribly expensive. And so we were looking for pop-up saunas because we couldn't change the structure of what we lived in. And, a, and we wanted to emulate a steam sauna. So there was a, a pretty handy little uh, idea that someone took a, a modern day pressure cooker, put a hose in it, it's like an Instapot, put a hose in it, put the steam uh, from the hose to go into one of the pop-up tents and call it a steam sauna. And by golly, they're like $150. So we clicked buy on Amazon and literally it lasted 24 hours. <laughs> We bought another one <laughs> and didn't send the parts back saying, okay, that one did last us a few more, few months, but oh, it just never got hot enough for me. I, I just didn't get my heart rate up. And it was in this midst of being frustrated, like, should we buy one of those? You know, what, what happens when you look at the, the different heat waves or different light, the different energy waves that are used to heat up the human body and, and cause uh a sweat a cause the particles of your of your of the water inside you to vibrate and and deliver what we hope to be an improvement in health and boy it's in a, in the midst of all that research that you couldn't find very many other uh of the the far infrared data that was out there so welcome to my channel that's a little bit about how i first uh, f uh, came upon your company um uh, Phil, I could try to introduce you, but it would do a, a severe injustice of trying to summarize your very adventurous life, uh, which might have had a coming of age around in the 1970s, <laughs> where something pretty yes. pretty yes. remarkable yes. happened. Why don't you share that story? Oh, okay. Well, I was a mathematician. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, going to beginning. I was beginning graduate school in mathematics at Ohio State University, and prior to that. In February of 1970, I had a trauma with a girlfriend, and I accidentally had an out-of-body experience that it took me a year or two to realize I had. So that started the whole ball rolling, and I said, "I'm not. In, I am not anything close to normal." 
<laughs> well, welcome aboard. Well, yes. so so as you entered into the space of looking at saunas, and especially with what you you really have brought to market, something really useful, and it's why I I don't do interviews with with experts very often, or as you said, you don't like the word expert, but you do claim that wisdom might have uh, shown up. You have lots of experience um, that. Why don't you share how how did you get into the world of saunas? That uh, I mean, your your history and math was the part that made a lot of sense to me. Like, oh, there is a lot of this that's the physics and mathematical side of how energy works and what it does to our body. Um, but share how you got into saunas. Well, I, I'd always wanted to be creative, you know, mathematically. I always wanted to be in that that peak experience more often. So that got me into uh, the fasting and the uh the health food products and i opened up a health food store in 1980 but i was selling herbal vitamins in 73 and full-time in 76 so that was my lifestyle and i got into selling massage tools uh now uh when i was about 16 i experienced a sauna for the first time and you know it's like a duck to water i mean oh my gosh i love saunas there's hardly anything in this world that like better than lying out in the sun and, and being in saunas. Mm. And so uh, when I went, uh, we we had done, we were selling massage tools, and I went to a biological dentist conference in Las Vegas, I think in around the year 2000, and, and the, ne- the next day there was a spa show. So I went to it, one of my massage tool suppliers had a portable sauna there. And mm. my first response was, oh my gosh, you can have a sauna in your home? <laughs> I mean, it's like, that's heaven. That heaven. So the, that was my Baroque period. That's before the classical period. You had the Baroque period. But I was broke, and it took me a year to be able to afford to buy a sauna wholesale. And so around 2001, October, I purchased one. And then around 2002, October, I, I got a phone call from Taiwan from the Relax Sauna Company saying that theirs was technologically a lot more advanced. They gave me a good price. It arrived in two, three days, and everyone at my office and my store said, oh, my gosh, there's a night and day difference between the relaxed sauna and this what I'll call an Amazon sauna. Mm. Uh, the other sauna was, was had a, one of those portable camping chairs, and it took too long to sweat, so I took it out, sat on the floor, and it took me 18 minutes to start sweating and 55 minutes for a, a good sweat. Mm. Relax sauna takes eight minutes. Yes. First of all, you feel it instantly, and it mm-hmm. feels like you're being hugged. Uh, it feels like you're basking in divine love, or you're being hugged by your loving grandma. You feel it instantly. It takes eight minutes to sweat, and in 15, 18, 20 minutes, you had a great sweat. Oh, I mean, it is one of the best parts about when, when I was playing this game of, all right, near infrared, far infrared, you know, looking at the information, trying to follow the data, and then not just read headlines, but really get back to, well, how do they know that? How is that true? And so there's a lot of, a lot of propaganda associated with saunas. And uh, as as I was again chasing what I had first first get, fell in love with was a you know fancy one that was inside a house, and again we we didn't put that in there. We actually lived in the house for like three years before we we turned it on because we weren't sauna people, uh, and COVID changed that. <laughs> we became sauna people as as much as you could. The but then I I became very disgruntled <laughs> that I would look at my watch, at, which keeps track of my heart rate. And if you're telling me that this sauna is going to cause uh, a, an improvement in health and I can't break a sweat for 30 minutes, some of them, I never broke a sweat. And and then I tried your sauna. And I will say you are absolutely right. First of all, it was a very comfortable heat that wasn't like, so I think sometimes that you get those, uh, the, the near infrared ones that they they tell you there's heat happening, but your body doesn't sweat, and mine mine didn't. Uh, and so then you go into the you say, oh, it must be my mine. I'll go rent time in a a commercial one, or you know, go to a sauna that's wooden, or you know, fi- find a different way to play with that. And I still would have a heck of a time pushing my heart rate up. And 
And then I was in yours and literally within within six minutes, I was sweating and my heart rate was up into what I call zone two. I mean, it's what people call zone two, but it was to the place where I said, oh yeah, now I'm making a difference. And if there's a commodity in my life that's really, I protect, it's time. So when it takes 40 minutes to get to a possible zone two or a possible sweat, I don't know, I, I'm not gonna do it. Um, so I, I completely, uh, when, when you're, what you're saying and what the experience was, was, um, was real. And then I scratched my head to try and find why are there not more of them sell, using the heat that is your far infrared. And I, I will tell you, I'm not the, the right one to answer that because the history lesson is, uh, well, that's why we ask wise people like you who have been around the sun enough time saying, why aren't more people doing that? Now, now when did you first try the relaxed sauna? Was that at a conference or? Uh... Yeah, so I had, um, well, I looked at it online, but it, I think it was at the first Hack Your Health that I went to, which was probably four years ago now, or um, huh? uh, KetoCon, was it? Where right. you and I met, and I had read about uh, this type of sauna, but I'd never been in one, and thought, I wonder if it's as good as it it says it is. And in my clothes, you said, just get in, and I knew instantly that this was pushing my heart rate. I could see it on my watch, like, oh, this is different. And I I actually bought one right there, took it home, and said, all right, we're going to experiment on my husband. <laughs> <laughs> And what happened to your husband? He 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 he's a he's even more of a snob than I am when it comes to saunas. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and so when I I knew when he said, "Oh yeah, that's actually doing something," <laughs> that we were, we were headed in the right direction. But the literature was, I mean, I, I walked into it having read, "Okay, this seems like a much better approach." I wonder why more people don't don't. I mean, if you look out on the commercial um, side of things to try and find far infrared versus near infrared, it, it, it's, I mean, one is one has got a huge volume of competition and there's not as many people in the lane that you're in. Why do you think that is? Well, it, it, I think it's the nature of this world. Um, it's like, um, you know, like for example, I've, I've never been backed financially you know, when I started, I was, you know, during my Baroque period. And and so I had to basically one one son at a time. And 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 I mean, slowly we've been doubling sales every year. And mm. we went from, I think, 2000 sauna sold in 2019 to 4000 in 2021 uh -huh. to 6000 in 2023. Mm. Oh, word is getting around. But, you know, when, when I first started, you know, uh, doing shows and someone I thought the portable saunas were almost as good as the relaxed sauna and I didn't think we were as good as the the wooden saunas this is me <laughs> promoting something that is probably uh it the if if a wooden if if the wooden sauna sell for six seven eight thousand dollars the good ones then the relaxed sauna is a twenty thousand dollar sauna because it's three times as potent you know, in terms of the the active ingredient in any other sauna out there by far, and and it, the 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 most humorous thing is when someone comes to me and says, "Oh, I have a real sauna," meaning <laughs> a wooden infrared a wooden infrared sauna, and and all I can do is I don't roll my eyes physically, but in the back of my head, on the other worlds and the inside worlds, I'm rolling my eyes, saying, "How do I get through to this person?" How do I get them to try it? Just go mm -hmm. in and experience it for five, six minutes, because the the chasm of difference between the relaxed sauna and the eight thousand dollars saunas is as much the chasm of difference between an infrared sauna or a far infrared sauna and a um, finished sauna. Oh, uh, and Hippocrates pointed out very clearly and concisely back. You know, about 2,500 years ago, he said, find me a way to create fever. Mm -hmm. Just find me a way to create fever, and I will cure any disease, period. Any disease. You know, the power of what, what your sauna is in the world of, too, is when people put energy, put their money behind the product today, maybe in 2000, 
you didn't have to be able to prove real time that it works as well as it does. But I find that is something I like living in the lane where what I recommend to patients, you can test what I'm telling you. You can prove what I'm telling you. And I, I you know, I, I look at the spectrum. I, I think I texted you a couple of, of images that are on your website saying, you know, trying to explain the wavelength and showing where the difference of the, this energy is in a far infrared versus near infrared. It will give the uh, the viewer uh, a platform to see what's the difference. But I, 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 I don't want uh, viewers to miss that if you have a heart rate monitor and you are in a sauna, you should see your heart rate go up and you should break a sweat within single digits of minutes. If the energy is not increasing your body temperature to increase your heart rate, you're, you're wasting you're, you're wasting the pain. I mean, when people say, oh, I don't want to go in a sauna. I don't like to sweat. I don't like to do that. I'm like, well, first of all, in order to get the benefits, that Hippocrates quote isn't an accident. It's not that breaking a sweat is, uh, you know, some kind of revolutionarily new idea. No, it is foundational in how to activate our systems to enhance our metabolism, but also to push our immune systems to to be in better shape. And if you're if you're going into one of these fancy places and you're not breaking a sweat or you're just glistening a little bit, which is what my patients <laughs> like to say. And like, right. you're wasting your time. Uh, heart rates need to go up. Your body needs to perspire. And it shouldn't take you 40 minutes to get there. So uh, one of the, one of my favorite parts when I'm telling people, why do I endorse your sauna over a whole bunch of others is just follow your own data. I mean, watch, I mean, you can go to these studies and say, but it, the, you know, the, the near infrared does this and it says it does that. And it says it does that. I'm like, yep, I know what those studies are trying to tell you. I also know that when you try and trace some of that evidence back, you're going to lose, you're, you're going to lose sight of the string of, of evidence. Um, but when you're looking at you, just like when I ask patients to change a, an eating habit and their blood sugar doesn't move at all, that you shouldn't trust me then. You sh if you can't see these results in yourself, um, be suspicious. <laughs> there are lots of salesmen out there and your your sauna delivers and it is an evidence, it, you can measure it in the patients that do it. In fact, I have a, a really good friend, a coach who's been part of my team for a while and struggling with some ma major problems in life, autoimmune disorders that have been going around for 30 years in her, you know, pick an or organ that's having a problem. And she kept telling me she was using a sauna. And at this last um, event for Hack Your Health, she's from Canada. I said, I'm going to go to the the booth and ask if I can buy one of their saunas uh, to send back with my coach because what she's doing is putting in the time and telling me she's using a sauna, yet she's not breaking a sweat nearly often enough or fast enough to get the kind of results that I want. She's now... I think we're at seven weeks since that conference and the amount of improvement in her health in the last uh, seven weeks compared to what it was the year before, despite time spent in Asana, uh, you know, I'll put in air quotes there, Asana, um, it, well, you win. <laughs> so why don't you take over and, and do some educating for us on when you're okay. trying to explain the difference of these wavelengths, how do you, how do, you do it to, to patients, to people? Okay. Well, well, first of all, there's a book called Detoxify or Die by Dr. Sherry Rogers. Mm -hmm. This spawned the far infrared sauna industry. Uh, she came out with this in 2001, 2002. And basically the whole book is about far infrared saunas. Mm hmm uh, as an environmental medical doctor, Dr. Rogers uh, was uh, people, patients with multi-chemical sensitivities and environmental concerns were left to dead by the medical establishment and came to her in the late 1990s. She used uh, the, the wooden far infrared saunas, which, you know, and I'm not sure how much far infrared is there. I imagine between 20 and 50% of the energy is far infrared ray, which is good. And they got results. As a matter of fact, the Mayo Clinic came out in 2004 with a study and announcing that their heart patients should not ever use a hot tub, a wooden uh, finished sauna, because the heart has to race 
to find an equilibrium between the inside temperature and the outside temperature. However, far infrared thana, saunas were extremely therapeutic. And the reason why is because when you raise body temperature through the far infrared saunas by sending off a frequency of light that's the same frequency as water and the organic cells of our bodies and all mammals and birds, by sending off this frequency of light between 7 and 14 microns, it gets the water molecules to vibrate. Mm -hmm. That, uh, according to uh, a passage in this book, No Sweat, No Sweat, by Dr. Bill Akpinar, a cancer doctor out of New York City, uh, he's quoting Dr. Uh, Tos to uh, Toshiko Yamasaki. There's there's a passage in it. I mean, I'm, well, I guess, you know, you, you, but basically what it says is uh, upon application of 7 to 14 micron, that's far infrared ray energy between mm -hmm. 7 and 14 micron energy, uh, the, uh, the, the water molecules will start to vibrate. That will re that will weaken the ionic bonds of the hydrogen and the oxygen in the water molecule, and un uh, unclump. In other words, it it uh, it unclumps the water molecules and gets rid of the clusters of water molecules clumped together that are holding encapsulated gases of poisonous gases and heavy metals. And, and when you vibrate the water molecule, that weakens the bonds and those toxic gases are released from from the, the cell. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of far infrared energy. And it's the 7 to 14 micron range that does it. So, you know, we've been promoting far infrared saunas. And then around 2017, uh, all of a sudden you heard all this information that far infrared energy doesn't do any of the stuff that Dr. Sherry Rogers says it does in his book with, with tons of data. And we have a new book out called Infrared Illuminated. This is $27 available on Amazon, where she has about 150 articles, research articles on far infrared energy, all documented that you can research. And um, it's the far infrared energy. The, and the, so the, these near infrared sauna company would say, oh, near infrared does all the stuff that Dr. Sherry Rogers says far infrared saunas do, and far infrared energy does not. <laughs> I said, what the? <laughs> then they, they document, they, they make a quote, and they document it and refer you to an article on near infrared lasers that has nothing to do with near infrared light bulbs. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm you know, but we were bombarded with this in 2017 Christmas time, and usually our sales go like this, and they Christmas. just flatten. So, well, it, it, I mean, I think there there there's a great book out the that has really captured me over the last year called um, the um, it is. Oh, it's about not enduring pain like uh, that. Um, oh, it'll come to me in a minute the title of it. I wish it was sitting in front of me. It's probably in the other room uh, talking about how today's oh, the comfort crisis. There you go. It just came back to me. Oh, the name sure of the did. book was The Comfort Crisis. And it talks about this man who is a very talented, you know, incredibly gifted in the, the resources in life that he has, but how uh, you know, the, the, the coming of age that he has been in has been, it's not, you know, take care of it with the lightest amount of uh, struggle, with the least amount of adversity, with, you know, the answer is in the pill, not in changing behavior. And so when you look at the, the difference between what it feels like for a patient to be inside a far infrared versus a near infrared, the near infrared is this this baby little uh, discomfort where 
a far infrared actually does cause a pretty significant sweat within, again, within 15 minutes for sure. I can remember setting the timer that if I could make it to 15 minutes, I felt like I was doing well. I can make it a little longer now. I, I, trying yeah. to get to 40 minutes is my is my goal. And, um, and that's only because it, you know, it really does add a level of metabolism uh, and, you know, energy burst to my life as well. But what, when, when you and I were talking, or when maybe it was looking at the research that um, that is that one, one of the latest studies that's come out is, um, isn't it in the last year or so, the, the study you were talking about, they blinded what kind of sauna it was going to, was it Harvard? Well, what we did is we, we sent a couple months ago, we oh, sent that's right. a relaxed sauna, we sent a $1,200 portable sauna pretending to be us, saying how great they are, saying that they're the best of the best. And we sent a $300 Amazon saunas to Harvard, MIT, um, and to their physics lab. And um, they did some research and they, they have a sophisticated equipment called the bolometer that tests the exact frequency that comes out of the relaxed sauna. And I've, I have never seen a report from any sauna company saying that this is the frequency of light. It's like when you look on a nutrition label, <laughs> you see, well, it's got so much calcium, whatever, but no sauna tells you how much of the active ingredient of 7 to 14 micron far infrared energy is in it. Right. And I understand that in Japan, they have a law or a definition of a far infrared sauna and to be called the far infrared sauna in Japan, you have to have at least 95% of the frequency far infrared ray. Mm -hmm. Using that definition, the relaxed sauna is the only far infrared sauna in the United States. The only one. Well, tell about uh, the outcomes of what they, what, when they were looking right. at, yeah, this is great. Well, the relaxed sauna energy. Now, we, we sent to Polytechnic University in, in Los Angeles. Uh, about a half half a year ago, a year ago, the relaxed sauna only, and they used the bolometer, and they came back for the sixty minutes. At first, we were between eleven and fourteen, and by the the last ten minutes, we were between seven and ten micron. Mm. So the whole relaxed sauna was far infrared ray between seven and fourteen micron, just like Doctor Yamasaki said. If if that particular frequency well, well, weaken the ionic bonds in the water molecule and cause wonderful things to happen in your body. So the 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 relaxed sauna energy was all between seven and fourteen micron. And then when we sent it to Harvard, we got the same exact results. Got then I look back to twenty five years ago or twenty two years ago when I was introduced to relaxed sauna. There's a an institute in Taiwan that verified it was all between four and fourteen. You know, which is, you know, and now we find out not only is it between four and fourteen, it's between seven and fourteen, and it never dawned on me that other sauna companies never documented. Mm -hmm. So the the Amazon saunas in particular, they all quote the research on far infrared saunas, and they say, "Here's our sauna." I was totally shocked that the $1,200 wooden sauna, the range was from 1.2 to 6 microns. Now, far infrared ray usually is considered to start at 4 microns. So it turned out that 8% of the energy from the $1,200 portable mm. sauna reputed to be the greatest, 8% of that energy was far infrared ray energy. And 37% was mid between 2 and 4 and between 0.76 and 2, 55% uh, uh, was near. Mm -hmm. The Amazon sauna was all between 0.95 microns and 1.3 microns, 0% far infrared ray. Mm -hmm. I was shocked because I've been thinking there's 36 to 50% of that energy was far infrared ray. Now, Dr. Gerald Pollack gave a talk recently at a conference we were at, and we talked to him and said, because he said that infrared energy expands the exclusion zone or easy zone water, the fourth phase of water, which is 
where only pure water can exist and it's it's like a gel-like substance and uh we asked him well what infrared energy he said we've only tested up to five micron and said how come you haven't tested you know like the relaxed saunas between seven and and 14 he said because we don't know how to produce it in mm-hmm. other words it's very, very expensive right to be do what the relaxed sauna company from 1987 to 1997 they researched how do we get this kind of energy that they have at uh, these healing spas in southern japan where people would go and miraculously they would get healed what kind of energy is there so this electrical company in taiwan the relaxed sauna company found 10 years of research they discovered using a semiconductor chip right that that's computer technology when during covid we couldn't get cars because we couldn't get the semiconductor chips from taiwan because that's see planck's law says we can't do what we do and and uh but somehow using semiconductor chips computer technology we're able to do what what planck says we we give you a hundred percent far infrared ray energy and that's the magic now there's a a commentator on on uh, uh, YouTube and wherever his name is uh, Matt Justice, and he says the more far infrared you have in your sauna, the more therapeutic it's going to be. Well, I, and I think that's if I, if I recall, that's part of where that patent comes from from this company too. Is that their ability to deliver that is is what is uh, unique about the company and why you find such an isolated. Uh, success in the lane that you're in, where you, you're you, the competition to get this level of delivery is is really there's there's not a lot of other people that are able to 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 deliver what you guys have talked about. Uh, what it took us, go ahead. It took us years to develop the technology to give you a hundred percent pure far infrared ray energy, and that causes the water molecules to vibrate. Mm-hmm. That increase and that causes the increase in body temperature that is so vital to Hippocrates when he says, find me a way to create fever and sweat and I'll cure any disease. So I was actually, before I found your company and when even before I was chasing saunas, there had been an orthopedic surgeon who um, had uh, talked about one of the techniques he was using after surgery was to place the patient under one of the, the uh the far infrared uh, lamps that if you know if he had he had done surgery on the ankle, done surgery on the hip, or whatever the joint was, they were really using the, almost a spotlight of uh, that delivery of energy to get that the wound to heal, the you know the bone to to get stimulus of uh, you know osteoblast. He he went on and on and on, and I it was years later where I realized he is from the area where your relaxed sauna was being. And he was using your. <laughs> wow! I yeah. know, isn't that great? And like, I was at a conference. Here's, I was saying, well, what are some of the ways where if I have a patient who's metabolically broken, they're they've got lots of consequences of several times around the sun, carrying too much weight, eating too many processed foods. Yeah, that's it. And he said, well, I'll tell you, there's a few things that uh, you know s- surgeons say we just we don't like infection. We like people to heal well, uh, but but your outcomes really are a product of yes your methodical process and who's the audience you're taking care of and as the audience in orthopedic surgery continues to have a a further and further list of problems and metabolic issues and being overweight that you know helping them at least you know (laughs) this is definitely showing you the mentality of a surgeon get them better enough to get them off of my list that it's not my my fault that they didn't get better and that little trick that you're talking that you're holding in your hand was one of his like i make my patients all do this now because especially if they have metabolic issues and this was long before i i signed up for sauna but that is the device he was talking about but why don't you share what what you what your experience has been in helping pr- providers find that device the, the, this is the the relax sauna table lamp by the way mm-hmm. and we had a lady at a conference with tmj uh pain that mm-hmm. she'd had for about a day and I said, just put this like here. And mm-hmm. she did it for five, seven minutes, and her TMG pain, pain went all the way gone. Mm. Yeah. We also had a late 
who had burnt her tongue through laser surgery and her, her pain was a level of nine. Mm. And she says that it had been that way for 36 hours. We said, well, we'll go ahead and use this on your tongue, you know, stick your, mm -hmm. your tongue out and do that and, you know, come back and do it for five, 10 minutes, you know, three, four times today. So she brought it back, you know, after about half an hour and she used it for five, 10 minutes and she never came back. <laughs> I said, oh, I guess it never worked. I was concerned. She said, no, it worked. And here it is three years later and <laughs> she still has no pain. So so it's like this 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 is our, our little ugly stepsister. We don't promote it much, uh, but it, it's like. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a story about what happened to me. So I, I, I love my husband. Uh, we've been yeah. at, we've been together thirty years, and sauna uh, time is one of our like. Well, it's it's how we stay married. It's a date. <laughs> so there's a, a place in town that is a steam sauna, uh, but boys go on one side and girls go on the other. And maybe that's the solution to a happy marriage that you go to separate saunas. <laughs> but we were looking for a place where we could go sauna together. So there's a new facility in town and we had gone to the sauna. It was like the third time where they're one of the barrel saunas and it would have it has a coil that was heating up rocks. Uh, and then you would be in the sauna for so many minutes and then you would hop out into a cold plunge and we said, oh, this will be great. Best part was we could do it together. It's about the third time we've been there and we see some struggles. <laughs> like, first of all, that barrel sauna is very uneven heat. Uh, I mean, we have your sauna at our house, so we know exactly how long it takes. I should not be spending an hour and a half in that dang sauna to get the outcomes I want. It's taking, I mean, I would have half of my body cold and whatever, I would always want the hot seat to be closest to the to the, the coils. But we're on the third time there and the, the company was new, trying to figure out how to be the best they could. I stepped out of the sauna, I'm holding onto the door and it's wet. And my my body gives out. Uh, my I, my 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 foot slips, and my knee gets wedged under the edge of the door. And it's like my knee just went like this, sideways. Instead of you know back and forth like this, it went like this. It went sideways. And I have never had such horrific pain in my knee. And I'm I I was I I'm not going to a surgeon. I, I'm not going to get surgery. I, I know I'm not even going to get going to get an MRI. So, but the next several days, I mean, I practically needed crutches to walk. It was so painful and swollen and ear, I mean, I knew I'd hurt something. So I limp around for about a week before I remember that this, uh, that, <laughs> and I'm trying to get in my own sauna to heal it. And I'm, you know, almost traumatized to go back to the place. It's not their fault. It was a wet floor. I mean, you should, I mean it's, it's just an accident. But I then called your company and said, all right, I want one of those thingies. I want one of those, those, uh, orthopedic options. And I have it here in my in my office where when I'm sitting at my desk for the next like three weeks, I would put that right on my knee. And by golly, I am I am pain free. I am back to normal. It's probably been four months now since the injury. And I mean, honest to God, I thought I was gonna have to um I was going to have to have something much more invasive done, but it's through your spot sauna as well as the home sauna that I use, the one that's behind you, behind you, that I know was a huge part of the healing process. And um, I, I'm really thankful that that orthopedic surgeon, because he was a little like um, it was not a, a convention for you know biohacking or and it wasn't a safe place to talk about something as woo woo as a sauna uh, or he didn't even use that word he was using this heat lamp is really important that's what he called it heat lamp uh, is really important for when I have uh, metabolically sick patients and um, I'm saying I'm thankful he told me and and that I connected that oh this is exactly what that guy was doing <laughs> anyway yes. thank you for healing yeah. my knee <laughs> well, you're welcome <laughs> You know, it, it's like, you know, the, the the stories I've heard on this little portable is like, will blow you away yeah. for $300. And, but the sauna is what we promoted right. the show is because mm -hmm. that's like, you know, the, the la creme de la creme. It, I mean, it really the, is. You know, and, and again, uh, Doc, uh, there's a, a colon hydrotherapist uh, named Rebecca Harder. Uh, she also has a um, a um, hyperbaric clinic, mm. uh, also in New Mexico, 
And uh, she gives this out to her her clients uh, at her colonic clinic years ago. But but she has was selling wooden saunas, and for ten years she would just snub her nose. I mean, you know, she would just look the other way. Well, I have a a wooden infrared sauna, the relaxed sauna that couldn't possibly do. I mean, this couldn't possibly do what a a a, a, a desktop computer could do twenty years ago. Right. This couldn't possibly do, you know. <laughs> Of, with with a cell phone, but basically she got in, and after three minutes, she couldn't believe the difference. Mm. I mean, it was mir- miraculous. Uh, and and this is you know, but a lot of times people, well, I spent eight thousand dollars for this wooden sauna. I said, yeah, if you spend eight thousand, then spend fifteen hundred dollars more <laughs> and get for an right. upgrade that's going to be. Ten times, three to four times more potent. Mm-hmm. That's exactly and, and right. The like way- the power of the time spent. Use the right. Use the right science behind what you're trying to do to your body. Absolutely. The, with, with that Harvard MIT study or or report, the the Amazon sauna had zero percent fire infrared ray. The twelve hundred dollar portable full spectrum infrared sauna which means very little. It's a made-up term, meaning nothing more than infrared. It's just it's flashy. and But Dale had 8% fire infrared ray, and then our sauna had 100% fire infrared ray energy. We were three and a half times more penetra- in power intensity than the $1,200 portable sauna we sell for $1,500. Uh, the $300 Amazon sauna, we were four and a half times more potent. In terms of EMF, the $1,200 sauna says they're low EMF. We had one-tenth the amount of EMF. Now, uh, they had one-fifteenth the EMF of the Amazon sauna, but the whole idea is that this thing is 100 times more dangerous than any household appliance. So it's a moot thing. There's like no household appliance can do the damage of Wi-Fi in a building you go into or a or the cell phone that you're carrying. Uh, right. Even Dr. Klinghart uses the Relax sauna, and he's the one that introduced the dangers of microwave EMF to the world. So go back to when when somebody is first a- approaching you uh, uh, for not been using Asana much, because a lot of the, my followers, they hear me talk about Asana, but honestly, finding Asana uh, routine, it's it's like somebody who's never worked out trying to get them to work out. That first step over the threshold, I think, is the beginning uh, to getting them. That's the hardest step for them. So when, when somebody purchases your sauna, what kind of protocol would you encourage them to do as far as a beginner? And then what what maybe take us all the way to what, what do you do? Well, first of all, people tell me they have homes and you know, and, and a home is based on love and warmth. And and I and I don't take that away from anyone, but but the relaxed sauna can transform a house into a home because where there's a hearth, a place of warmth. And we have families, people, the kids have grown up, they're eight, nine, 10, and they've had the sauna for six, seven, eight years. They couldn't, I mean, it's like, it's like having a refrigerator or stove in your house or not. How can you not have a stove or refrigerator in your house? How can you not have a relaxed sauna? Where do you go when you want to go to have experienced a moment of of tuned in this, mm-hmm. to, to get tuned into that which you are, to get into the present moment? Boom, boom, in five, seven minutes, you're there with your clothes on, without sweating. And in five to seven minutes, I guarantee you will, any person will get rid of 50% to 100% of their pain Mm-hmm. guaranteed without sweating with their clothes on in five to seven minutes every time without fail. Mm, that's that's one of the treatments that you can get from a relaxed sauna that you can't get from every other, any other sauna because they all take from 10 to 30 to 45 minutes to preheat. Yep, that's true. Absolutely. That's exactly what I ran into as well. Like, no, this is not going to work. If, if you want a great sweat, in 20 minutes you can get in the relaxed sauna with with 10 to 30 seconds to preheat. Right. Seven to eight minutes, the normal person will start sweating, some a little bit before, some a little after. Uh, we've got people, you know, who haven't sweated for 10 to 20 years, sweating within 20 minutes. And one lady at a doctor show 
it took my ex-wife 51 minutes to get her to sweat. And as soon as she started sweating, four doctors had their credit cards, handed it to my ex-wife, saying, we want to get a relaxed sauna. Oh, wow. Because what the relaxed sauna does is is almost miraculous and almost unbelievable what it can do it it is uh profound it's it it gives you 100 percent pure fire and fred energy that resonates with the water molecules and that will increase the body temperature when you increase the body temperature you're doing five major things you're you're mobilizing the lymphatic system mm -hmm. to get the toxins out you're you're increasing the circulation that's going to lower the blood pressure and get rid of inflammation and pain you're going to oxygenate the body and that's going to kill the anaerobic bacteria and that's going to also can kill the lyme spirochetes mm -hmm. and and can kill cancer cells it can do it can it, they have a hospital in germany called saint george hospital they go and they raise the body temperature to 100 and 405 degrees and it kills everything, except it doesn't kill the human body. Right. No. But and they have sophisticated equipment that keeps it from getting to 107, 108, where it would kill the human body. And and so using the relax sauna daily is an alternative. Right. No, so honestly, it, it is a routine for my husband and I. We, we do this. If, if we're looking at our week, we always think, well, at least we've got our sauna figure, you know, our sauna time fi figured out. And we have not been sauna people our whole life. We really haven't. But your sauna is our, um, so how often do you get in your sauna and how long do you stay? Yeah, I, I usually do it 20 minutes every morning. Good. And then about, you know, every other day, I have time. I'll get out, maybe take a shower, drink some water and do another 20 minute sweat. <laughs> and, you know, if, if I do it a third time, every couple, every once a month or so, that's spa day for Phil. And I feel like I've been at the spa for nine hours. <laughs> well, it's interesting because so you can see the sauna behind you that you have. There's a hole yeah. at the top of the zipper. Uh, now, how my husband and I do it is we get it. You know, the person gets in and they zip it up and they put the whole, the the head inside to get everything pretty warm yes. pretty yes. quickly. And I'm not as good as he is <laughs> that the longer you can you can stay with just tolerating that increased metabolic drive from that heat source uh well it's kind of like a badge of honor between the two of us he he he's way better at it than I am but uh so it'll be about uh, somewhere in that high teen number is where I'm at right now before I have to pop my head out and then I push my my put my hands through those little zippers and sometimes uh, uh, adjust whatever it is I'm you know reach for the glass of water or something uh, but the the process of uh, using what is really a low weight low uh you know real estate burden in your house and again it truly is portable <laughs> this really doesn't require a lot to move it from one room to the next or even to 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 you know to to stand up to the word portable it really is well we, here's the um the, the oh, yeah. breakdown of on it. it fits in the uh carrying case mm -hmm. and the carrying case in the chair well well fit in i i have a samsonite suitcase which is 21 inches wide and the chair and the and the whole bag and the radiator and the tent all fit in that That's so but, great. but it fits the carrying bag and you could take the uh the radiator you know uh the the tent will fit in any suitcase mm -hmm. and you can the plane with you and it's always in my hotel room that's so great yeah we oh. said it with our lady uh back to canada we said take this on the plane with you and your sauna has been very impressive on in my world too so thank you for what you do well i appreciate you thank you very much and i will let our customers know that if you are looking for a way to get to this little link go to bozmd.com on dr boz favorites and you'll find the relax sauna right at the top uh, thanks again bye-bye